here at Mowers and Blowers. We push them into the garage, but they come out driving. Hey guys, how you doing? It's Henry at Mowers and Blowers. Good morning. It's very early today. It's like 9.30. Uh, if you have a dog and he barks a lot, which my dog Boba does, you wake up and once you wake up, you can't go back to sleep anymore. That's what happens when you get older. Anyway, do you guys know from episode seven, we buttoned up most of the major things. Today we're gonna take care of the minor things just to button this up, get it ready for sale. As you know, I painted my hood yesterday and while the uh, Rust-Oleum Husqvarna orange is not quite as deep of a orange color as the stock Scots from John Deere, it's pretty close and it's good enough. It sure is a whole lot better than this fiberglass faded hood that it was before we painted it. I'm gonna take the masking off today and uh, we're gonna install this hood, kind of trim up the hole where the muffler tailpipe comes out. Uh, I just checked the oil again and while the oil is not the best, but not the worst, I touched it and smelled it and I smelled gas in it, which means that the oil is contaminated with uh, gas. So that kind of compromises the viscosity of the Protect it as good as it should. So uh, after we remove the masking, I'm going to do an oil change. Here we go. I didn't clean the sticker before I put the masking on, so I'm going to have to wipe down the sticker. Not bad at all, huh? We were able to preserve the sticker. That's pretty important. Now, uh, in a little while, maybe an hour from now, I'm going to head on to uh, my friend Nick from Belport's house. Oh, no, Henry, what are you going over there for? Every time you go over there, you know it's trouble. Yeah, it's trouble, all right. Nick texted me yesterday and showed me a couple of pictures of a tractor that he has listed on Facebook Marketplace as a free curb alert couldn't let him throw something like that away besides the fact that I have three spare engines I could just simply use that you know so I've got two LT 1000 tractors without engines right and uh, after I pick up this Toro from Nick I have exactly three tractors without engines and I have three engines can't let them throw it away it's in too good a shape anyway we're gonna clean the uh, headlight assembly here replace the uh, headlight lens cover and we're gonna trim this hole where the muffler tailpipe comes out because it's kind of frayed from the melting uh, this thing moved around a little bit while I was mowing the lawn yesterday and uh, it was touching the um, tailpipe and it kind of melted a little bit more but you know what <laughs> the bigger the hole the better I'm gonna be using a little bit of super clean just to clean this uh, sticker over here you see you have a little bit of a boo-boo over there I'll put a little bit of carb cleaner on there and that should be able to remove it look at the super clean how it just cleans out the dirt and grime just like that you know you can see from this hole over here it's kind of melted I'm gonna kind of trim this around just to make uh, this go away also the top of the muffler you can see it's got a little bit of a bulge there because the top of the muffler the lip got really hot, made it bubble out a little bit. But that's okay, once it moves out more, it won't do it anymore. I'm gonna clean the other sticker on the other side and the front assembly. I'm gonna spray some uh, cleaner and degreaser onto this rag. You see I put the lens back on looks pretty good huh gonna have to get the uh, lights to work later some be doing some wiring that'll be kind of tricky because that wiring harness I need to find a switched 12 volt current switched as in when you turn the key it turns on 
as you can see here is the bolts to remove from the engine block so that the oil will come out so i'm trying to drain the oil right so i've jacked up the right side front of this engine so it kind of tilts to the left a little obviously when this bolt comes out because this thing is stuck on the bolt right um there's no room here to really grip it well to get this nut off of the bolt so it's turning the entire bolt you know from the engine block so when this is loose enough that i can hand turn it as i'm doing right here right eventually i'm going to be able to take this out when i do take it out all that oil is going to just drip down and make a complete mess i got this from a subscriber a while back i don't remember uh who it was i apologize but it's magnetic and you can kind of mold it into a channel so i'm gonna just uh try to work this out here like this so that i'm making a channel that the oil would just spill into my reservoir here and not create that much of a mess so we'll see how this works for the very first time i think it will work because it seems like you know making a channel is pretty easy of course now i can't turn this thing because of the the thing on the bottom you know so that's another thing is that you can barely turn it now because the the, the clearance below there we go. Oh, we got it. We got it. We got it. I just need to keep loosening this. I want you to got you guys to see how it comes out. Okay, we're almost there. Here it comes. Ooh, look at that. Oh shoot! Look, look, look. See, it's inevitable. You're gonna make a mess no matter what, sons of bitches. See that? It's just a mess. And look. The oil's viscosity. Yeah, it smells of gas and it is, it's pretty good, but I mean, you know, it'll probably be uh, safe than sorry. I mean, what a mess now, damn it. I mean, honestly, I'm so frustrated because I mean, a simple thing as an oil change will cost so much more time for me to spend cleaning this crap up. You know what I mean? Time is money. If you have to just try to do an oil change and you can't do it um, fast enough and clean, I mean, it's just really frustrating. Okay, finally it took me about half an hour to clean up that mess. I had the double stack pulley, the top pulley. The whole thing was a pool of oil. My God. So now my belts are wet and uh, probably slip. Now, Kohler engines, especially Kohler Command, actually recommends 10W30 in their engines. Not 5W30 for the winter or SAE30 for the summer. 10W30 is what they recommend. So that's what we're gonna put in here. Uh, I'm gonna put at least a quart in here. Uh, I know that uh, lawn uh, tractor engines usually take about, or at least Briggs, 1.3 quarts. I'm not too sure about the uh, Polar commands, but uh, we'll put some of this synthetic in here. That'll protect the engine very well, and I'm sure one quart will be just fine. It's just too hot for me to work outside. I gotta go inside. It's like 23 degrees. So I just tested the circuits. Uh, that thing that I suspected was the lights on the hot wiring harness was in fact the lights. So once you click that to the first notch, it turns on lights and I got 12 volts going through these wires. I found this attachment that I believe belongs on <laughs> Scott's by John Deere and uh, connected it and I tested the circuit and when you turn it to the first notch, it does go on 12.9 volts, 12.5 uh, volts. I'm gonna go get the hood. I'm gonna put it on here, connect the lights and see if they work. Hey, here is the hood. Looks nice. It's not exactly the same orange, but it'll do. It looks really nice. I'm so dizzy, I can't see what I'm doing.
So this actually has the thing that comes out of it. So <laughs> okay, it's connected. <laughs> Not the prettiest thing in the world, huh? But uh, when the muffler melts more, it'll kind of smooth this out, you know? Good enough. So there you go, eight episodes to get this baby going, but it looks pretty good. I listed for $7.25. I know it's a lot, but hey, you never know, some nut may want it. Uh, I'll take as low as like 500 bucks. It's a uh, 12.5, but it's pretty strong. Uh, thanks a lot guys for, in, for uh, following me on this entire eight, proje eight episode project. Uh, doing a little bit at a time you know just getting it going um, I hope my projects don't all have eight episodes you know it took quite a while but uh, you know it's it's tough to work in the heat you know the 90 degrees doesn't give you a lot of motivation but uh, in the end uh, got a tractor going and it runs really well even if I don't sell it I'll use it to mow my lawn you know what I mean uh, and I'll be working on about five push mowers before I get to another tractor again but uh, stay tuned for a next episode of Mowers and Blowers. See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. Hey, if you guys enjoyed the video, remember to give me a like. Also, comment below. Subscribe. Remember, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. It's free, right? Also, hit that little bell. That way you'll get post notifications whenever there's a new video and you won't miss out on any of them. Remember to follow my Instagram and Facebook, as well as if you'd like to donate a dollar or two, paypal.me slash mowers and blowers. Really appreciate all the support. Also, to keep the videos coming every day, support the channel. Bye.